serious? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to bust my eardrums? Hello. <laughs> Wait, hold on a minute. It hasn't finished. I moved into my new office on Monday. Of course. <laughs> oh yeah, show and yeah, yeah. Uh, pick up me an assistant, but a temporary one just for now. Yeah. You know, Ray and I, I mean, we'll find a way to sort of... Yeah, we we'll sort of... I'm sorry, no. it was my fault. No, I mean, it was mine. I was I was not thinking. I was distracted. Did I dent your car? No, 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 it's it's all right. No, I could have it fixed. No, no, it was my fault. I was talking on the phone. Uh, I'm so sorry. Your car looks new. Yeah, yeah, I just got it, actually. Oh, uh, congratulations. Well, thanks, but it's actually an official car. It doesn't matter. It's still beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Uh, were you going in here? Uh-huh. I mean, we could go in together. Oh, okay, sure. By the way, my name is Beatrice. People call me Vivi. Oh, nice to meet you. Same my here. name is Nicole, and people call me Nikki. All uh, right, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet Let me you. just grab my purse. Okay, all right, that's uh, fine. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's all right. to explain a few things. And how do you intend to explain the fact that you're married and you never thought it necessary to tell me? 
You just didn't tell me the truth, did you, Pete? Look, I know this game. I've played it too, remember? Nicole, please. Do you know what? I don't really want to hear whatever you have to say. I'm not interested. I found a new life in you. I got a brand new day. What is life without love? What's up, darling, baby? That is no answer to my question. Come on, baby. I mean, is that a way to welcome an old friend? David, you really did not know your place. You haven't told me why you're here. I'm sorry, B. I... I need to see you. And you couldn't have called me on my phone? You'd rather prefer to barge into my home, my privacy, without an invitation? Come on, baby. I wasn't sure you'd take my calls. Can I at least sit down? Very funny. Very funny, David. Now I'm going to ask you again. Why are you here? Um, oh, he's, um, how is it? He's very fine, thank you, and I would not want him to come back from work and meet you here. Hey, come on, relax, baby, okay? I happen to know he's still at work. For crying out loud, David, why are you here? What have you come for? Come on, baby. Man. Is she that bad? Please. Oh. You know what? I'm sorry. I just have a lot on my mind right now. Have you made a bad time? Yeah, I came in a few days ago actually. So, how's the service here? I was phone and taxi at the same time. Anyway, it's over now. It's time for one to settle down. Well, which is why I came to see you. Um, so, what is it? I, I don't know how to go about this, but... Um, I need you, B. No way. Do all you did to me in the past, and you still have the infantry and the ghost come into my home and tell me that you need me? Get out! Come on, baby. Come on, please. I'm sorry. Okay? You and I know it's not entirely my fault. I was, I was just. You were mean and very stupid. You know you've hurt me one too many times, and I care to be hurt again. So please, out. Please. You just give me a minute to explain myself. David, I say leave my home. I don't want my husband to come back and see you here. Leave! Okay. Can I call you, please? Maybe commit some time, please. Maybe. But for now, leave. Go. What 
position is temporary. I am very much aware, ma'am. And it's okay with you? It's very, very okay with me, ma'am. Well, in that case, the job is yours. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you so, so much. There's really no need to thank me. Your job is simple. You will help me gather materials for the magazine and you'll report directly to me. Okay? Yes, ma'am. You can use one of the desks in the general office. Thank you, ma'am. I am so, so very grateful. Uh, one more thing, then. Can you please not call me Ma? You can address me by my name, editor or whatever, but certainly not Ma, okay? Yes Ma, um, editor. <laughs> whatever. Um, I'm going out soon, but I'd like to show you one or two things before I leave, alright? Okay? It's alright Ma. I know, BB. I know. What I'm trying to say here is that it's just trying to see my side of things, BB. I mean, I need you. Look, I can't. Okay? Well, uh, it doesn't have to find out. Uh, I can't. I, d I don't want to do this. Please don't ask me to. Bibi, please. Please. I know how you feel about it, but what about my husband? I'm sorry, Bibi. But the truth is, without you, everything... I mean, everything will fall apart. Oh, please stop that. Don't do that. Don't play on my emotions, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But the truth is... Without you, I... Ugh. Oh, please stop. Even if I want to do this, how can I make it work? I mean, how could we make it work? How do you mean, how can we make it work? So you want me to sneak behind his back to see you, innit? No, 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 you don't have to do that, baby. You don't. So you're asking me to lie to a man I love and respect so much? Hey, come on, baby, you don't have to do that either. I mean, we could meet when it's at work or out. Besides, you will know your whereabouts. Trust me. Dave, I see that you have all this figured out. Yeah, I too. Baby, you know how important you are to me. Oh, please, cut off the flat ones. You know what? Um, I'll try my best, okay? Thanks, baby. I owe you a lot, really. Well, I'm not promising you anything. I said I'll try my best. I'll see what I can do. Um, Neewa, I have to, I have to get off the phone now. I have a meeting with a friend. Oh, I guess I'll talk to you later.
be funny. You can't imagine what happened today, man. Something. Hey, please. What is it? Where have you been? I, I told you I had an appointment with a potential sponsor. What kind of appointment? It took the whole day. Please, please, please. Please, Juliet, please. Okay, I'm tired. I'm tired. I need to rest. Okay? I have neither the strength nor the inclination to argue with you. David! Look, look. If you're gonna start nagging right now, I might as well just go out again. I'm nagging, right? I'm nagging. Just because I asked for you being all day, I'm nagging. Go on, I've just been out for a few hours, Juliet. How does that translate to you all day? Why are you even staying in the hotel? Which am I supposed to address right now? Where I've been in a couple of hours or why we are still at the hotel? You promised we were going to move back to your parents' house. If I go over to my parents' house, Juliet, you have to go home too. Why can't I go with you to your parents' house? Because you can't! Why not? We've been through this before, Juliet. Why are we doing it again? Just tell me why I can't go with you to your parents' house. Because, because you're here to tell me I'm supposed to explain you in my house to my parents. Well, Dave, you look, promised look, 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 to. Look, 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 Juliet. Since one can have a moment of rest with you around, I might as well just go out again. Oh, where are you going again? You just only go here. My parents' house. Without you. God, it's all the only two. Even so, he's still not available to you. It's not. Which is a story I'm not going to go into right now. <sighs> well, it's really hard when you want something so badly and you find that fate has played a trick on you. <laughs> you can say that again. But still, I'm determined to do the right thing. And I assume that writing is staying away from him? It's hard to admit. Nicole, I understand it's difficult. And I'm going to advise you as a friend. If this is too complicated for you to handle, I think you should just let it be. I think so. I hope so. Yeah, that's what we have to do. Surprise. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Ah, when did you get into the country? I came into the country last night, then came into town today. Well, it's good to see you. How was your trip? My trip was fine. Thank you. That's good. That's good. Have you been to the house yet? Yes, I did, but no one was there. No one? Yes. That's surprising. Anyway, you're welcome all the same. Thank you. So, how is business going? Um, what can I say? Business is good. We're not complaining. We thank God for business. How long are you staying? I'm not too sure yet. Okay. Listen, we hadn't the slightest idea you were coming home. I hope everything is alright. Everything is fine. It's just that I wanted to surprise you, that's all. 
<laughs> you succeeded. I'm indeed surprised, but pleasantly so am I. How's uh, Junior? I hope you're keeping an eye on him. Of course, yes. And he's doing surprisingly well. <laughs> That's good to hear. You know, I had my doubts about his traveling outside the country. Well, you have nothing to worry about. He's doing well and keeping out of trouble. Oh, thank goodness for that. Listen, uh, now that you're here, why don't we just go to the house for some refreshments? I'm sure B would be back by now. Okay. okay. That would be nice. Okay. Uh, Everything else was easy. Really? Mm-hmm. What happened? You know I had already prepared the divorce papers before we left. Uh -huh. So I told him we were going to go to court if we couldn't settle amicably. And go. He signed the papers. You're joking. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> I don't trust Edmund. He wouldn't want to be dragged around in court. <laughs> Especially after I told him that for making you believe he was dead for five years and abandoning you, he was definitely going to lose. Oh, wow. So did he have a lawyer present? Huh? You bet. I wasn't going to risk him waking up one morning to say, I didn't know when I signed those papers. <laughs> or that he signed them on that dress. <laughs> That's my lawyer friend talking. <laughs> oh, God. You mean I'm finally free of Edmund? Mm. After all this year? No. He wants to remain dead as long as you're concerned. God, you don't say. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm tired, dirty, I know. and hungry. I, know. I need a bath, mm -hmm. food, and good rest in that order. You will have much more rest. <laughs> Girlfriend, I definitely owe you more. Thank you. Hey, what are friends for? You know what? We need to celebrate my freedom. So, are you buying me a bottle of champagne? How about crystal champagne? Oh, yeah! I'm gonna pop one tonight for <laughs> to celebrate my freedom! Okay! okay. <laughs> oh, Evans, come in, come in, come in. Just sit down and feel at home. Let me, um, let me go and find out if he's Okay, I'll be back. See you soon. She's still not back. I hope she's fine. I'm sure she's fine. It's just that it's surprising. I'm sure she'll have an explanation to make. Sure. Why don't we share a drink yes. while we wait for her to come back for the main refreshment? That would be nice. Huh? That would be nice. Okay. Some red wine? Exactly.
so happy to hear that. Yes, later. Uh, the usual place, isn't it? Okay. Alright. Okay, you know what? I have to I have to go now, okay? I'll talk to you much later. Okay, see you soon then. Alright, bye. on the phone. The phone? Oh, okay. No one, actually. My friend. Which one is it now? No one or a friend? Come on, Piet. It's my friend, someone you don't know. I see. What happened last night? Oh, my God. Wait, you, you just see? Emily, you said last night I had this terrible headache in my head because my last night was horrible. It was... It was a disaster. It's something I don't want to even think about. God, I had a flat tire last night. Can you imagine? You had a flat tire? Yes. You could have called me. Oh, Pete, why don't you just be patient? Wait for me to finish up my okay, story. Okay, okay, okay. I had a flat tire. I bought on my phone to call you. All of a sudden, my phone went dead, dead just like that. Your phone went dead? Seriously, it went flat, dead. Battery, flat. How convenient. No, baby, it wasn't convenient at all. Because I was on that lonely road, you know, all by myself, cold. God knows what would have happened to me. Will you step myself and you call that convenient? I don't think so. Well, a good Samaritan came along and um, helped me out, changed my tires, and, you know. I see. So, what are you doing today? Um. Nothing much. I'll just stick around the house, do some house chores, make sure the flowers are trained, and you know, just me thing every day. I see. You know, maybe I should just fix your breakfast for you. Because I was only waiting at the restaurant for you. Could you stop whining and listen? My husband is coming suspicious. What? What happened? I don't know. He started asking a lot of questions lately. Could you have let anything sleep? Am I stupid? I told you I'm not going to jeopardize my marriage because of you. So, what happens now? I don't know, maybe we should just forget about the whole thing. Hey, come on, baby. Please. I, I can't afford to lose you now after all this while. Please. Please. I told you, no flattering. Don't tell me you're backing out now. Well, are you your parents? No, no, not at all. Well, can we meet there? Are you nuts? You want me to meet you in a hotel? Hey, come on, relax, baby. Besides, I have a guest. No one will notice you there. No way. I just stopped committing a private place, baby. Where could be more private than my hotel room? I said no way! They come up with something then. Hey, look, Dave. Don't you go starting up on me. I owe you nothing, remember? I'm sorry. It's just that I took... I, I took my hotel room is an ideal place for us to live since we can't be seen in public together. No. We just... Let's come up with something else, okay? I thought, I thought I told you to drop those materials at home. Okay, you already did. Okay, okay. No, I'm not at home at, at the moment. What? Uh, my wife is not at home. Um, okay. Never mind. Send them back to the office. I'll see you when I get back to the office. Okay? All right, all right. But I, she told me she would be at home.
done. I'm sorry. 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 How have you been doing? Well, I've been fine. Just been missing you like a whole lot. It's been the same with me. It's been the same for you then. Why have you abandoned me for so long now? Not even keeping in contact, not telephone calls or nothing. You know how it is with these and that. I've been very busy. You're right with these and that. So much that you even forgot your very first love, innit? it? How can I forget you, my angel? You know you're the only one I have in this whole world. <laughs> You're so funny. But you know, you really got me thinking like, I mean, some other girl has come into your heart, taking my space and, you know, have nothing for me again. Well... No one can do that, you know that. Hmm. Really? So really? How did you find me? Uh, well, um, I asked the receptionist where you were. Plus, Pete actually told me that you were going to stay in this hotel, so, I mean, it was really easy. I see. So, Pete told you I was staying here. How has it been to you? Has it been treating you well? Uh, yeah, Pete has been really very lovely to me. I mean, you already know that he's a very wonderful man, so... Okay, because you know you're my little baby girl and I want to make sure nothing is wrong with you. Look at who is talking, big boy. Look, I am a grown-up woman now and I can take care of myself 100%. So I'm not your little girl. Sure. Yeah. Well, you'd always be the little baby girl I used to know. <laughs> Look who is talking. <laughs> Look, I am a big girl and I can take care of myself. So what's been happening just me now? I mean, you know, what's been happening? I've been doing nice. Yeah, but you look good, really, I mean. You, you said you were on a diet, didn't you? Yes, why not? <laughs> Mommy, I'm joking. Get me a drink. Be polite. Where's the barman? Where is he? I said I'm sorry. What more do you want? Okay, Juliet. I I need to work on these things this night, okay? Can you at least understand that? I told you we're working on this project together. I should be asking you that, Juliet. Because all you do is sit around here and complain about virtually everything. I'm sorry about that, okay? Can I at least get another chance? You know what? I really hate it when you do things and come back and say you're sorry even though I know you're not? This time it's for real. Chris, my hand. Whatever, just, just let me be. Look, I have even started writing on my lines for the first edition. What are you talking about? You said I was going to be the anchor person for the Egan segment, right? Yeah, I did. Basically, the ideas of the segment were all yours. Good. I even started writing on my lines. I had this idea to make the segment more fun and enjoyable. You know, you know what, Julian? Uh, when you set your heart to it, it can be more than a pretty doll. That's insulting, David! It's not. It's a compliment. You think I'm stupid, right? You insult me and say it's a compliment. Come on, Janet. If I thought you were stupid, trust me, I won't come close to you with a 10 foot pole. David! Come on, are, are we fighting again? Okay, because if you are, I don't want a part of it. Like I said, I've got things to do. Please. I found a new life in you. I got a brand new day. What is life without love? I'm so sorry I started without you. I was too hungry. No, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I actually took a lot of time anyways. So aren't you eating? Um, no. I'll just have a soft drink. I We have a visitor today, so I need to go on board. Really? Anyone interested? Yes. Wow. <laughs> so, I mean, what is it you're blabbing about the phone about? My divorce is complete. Oh my god, are you serious? My lawyer friend just got back last night with the news. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. I know that's what you wanted. Honestly, I cannot believe it's finally over. I mean, after all these years. Nicole, it's not really over. You know? A part of him will still be with you. I guess so. But I need to move on with my life. 
I mean, it's taken so much from me. I can understand. Yeah, so, I mean, what about the guy that made you leave your husband? Are you guys, like, together now? Nobody made me leave my husband. Anyway, I'm still thinking about it. Thinking? Why are you thinking? Why don't you just go ahead and date him? I mean, okay, now, why do you think people get divorced? Is it not to officially be with someone else? Something about me. Nothing. I mean, everything. It's the way we're so fast to grasp at the option of divorce without even trying to make our marriages work. husband deserted me for five years. I thought he was dead. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't know I know, I know, I know you don't know. This is not just about me, is it? No. But you know what, I can't really go into it right now. It's a long story and time. No. But I, I will surely tell you what's this. I promise we will be fine. I promise. And please not bother about me, I'll be okay. Okay? Appointment with strange ladies. Well, since you started leaving this house early and coming back with the clothes late! Hey, 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 don't turn this on me. I'm not too lazy on you. I'm not. Look, I am so sick and I'm tired of sitting down in this house every day without doing nothing. Why didn't you say so all this while? Instead of going about and having an appointment with strange people. Because you never listen to me! And she's not a strange one. Well, whatever she is, I don't like her. Look, don't insult me, Pete. Do not insult me. Because nobody is a friend to me. And I have a mind of my own. I can pay for myself. Then you had better start thinking better than you've been. Like I said, Pete, do not insult me. What has come over you? When did you start bandying words with me? You love me to me! talk about anything you want but for now let me just 
look at you and take in your presence. <laughs> you flatter me. It's true. <laughs> anyway, how have you been? Not as good as I would love to, but I'm good. I'm excellent. Good. So, have you given a thought to what we discussed? I have. And? Pete, I know this is... Listen, it just just wait. I want you to know that whatever you have decided... I know. I'm a married man and I'd love to believe I'm a decent one. What I'm asking you does not come easily to me. I understand that. I've never cheated on my wife, and I don't think I'd love to start now. But from the very first time I set my eyes on you, I knew I wanted you around me. Pete, you really don't have to go through all this. I just want you to understand everything. Enough, OK? OK. Whatever you decide is fine. I want you to be very sure. I'm sure. Like you said, how do we know where this is headed if we don't at least try? So yeah, <laughs> I want to be with you. This is the best thing I've heard in a long time. <laughs> Let me start going. Hope my boy is kicking well. You could you just stop doing that, okay? You're not here to audition for her. I know. I just want to keep busy. Whatever, man. Are you sure there's nothing you've not told me? What are you talking about? I mean, why is your potential sponsor not here? How am I supposed to know that, Juliet? Why won't you? You fixed the appointments with her, didn't you? Juliet, please. Not now. Please. Not now. Okay. Okay, I'm not talking. Thanks. And why are we out here in this hidden place waiting for your potential sponsor? But I told you, Juliet, this is where she wants to meet. And why is that? Juliet! Sorry, but I still don't know why. <sighs> I'm out of here. What? What have I done? Are you coming or not? Someone can't make an observation without getting you, right? is accusing me of cheating. Who's accusing me? Who else? Your husband. <laughs> why? I wish I really knew why. I mean, I just had lunch with you and that was it. Me? <laughs> Your husband doesn't know me. That's the problem. Because he doesn't know you, he feels like it's not right for me to hang out with you. That's crazy. Really crazy. You know, this world is a very funny one. I actually stumbled upon an ex. Okay. And what has that got to do with anything? Well, I think he wants to rekindle the fire. That's another crazy idea if you ask me. I know. But that was said my husband right for his provocative accusation. Me, you'll have to face the consequences. What consequences? I mean, we're already headed towards I am separated, remember? Hey, look, this is serious. Stop being funny. I'm, I'm not being funny here. I mean, if I'm going to be accused of something that I'm not doing, then I might as well just do it and be guilty. This is not the way to be talking at this point, and you know it. Uh, Nicole, I am I'm really tired of fighting with my I don't know how things grew this worse between us. B, look, calm down, alright? I know you guys will work things out. Just calm down and take it easy. B? What? Evans. Oh, I need to see Evans immediately. 
Who's Evans? Someone special. I I'll call you, okay? Please. Please. Please, thank you for your time, but I'll call you, okay? I will speak everything to you. Please. No, I didn't even think he knows about that. About what, Bibi? What have you done? It's nothing important. Let me decide that for myself. All right, fine. Dave is back in town and I've been meeting with him. Wait a minute. Dave! Don't tell me that Dave. Yes, the same Dave you know. So what have you been doing with Dave? He brought this proposal that I'm helping him work out. Beatrice! Don't tell me that you two have started again where you left off years ago. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Your visit to his house was not to see your friend, Peace. Peace is my friend and I did not go to his house. But Dave was your lover. Is he still your lover? Well, Evans, since he knows so much about Dave and I, then how come we do not know that whatever existed between us was in the past, even before I married Peace? I may know, but it's not me you need to convince. Does Pete know? Well, I told you, Pete doesn't even know he's in town. So, how stupid can you get? Why is it now that the both of you got back that Pete is accusing you? I told you, Dave and I are not back together! Whatever, just make sure your husband believes you. That's all. You know what, I don't even need this right now. I'll just go home and sort this out with my husband. Bibi, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be unkind to you. You're welcome. I really don't know what you're getting so upset about, Adi. It's like I did anything terrible. I can't believe you agreed to date him after everything. What is everything? The fact that he's married? I hid it from you. And I still have been hiding it if we have not found out ourselves. Adi, all that is in the past now. Besides, I had my secrets too. Remember? Yeah, but you were decent enough to tell him you were married. Okay, but now I'm divorced and nothing stops us from being together. <laughs> Ain't you forgetting something here? I'm not forgetting anything, Adi. All I know is that I deserve to be happy. And you of all people should agree with me that I deserve to be happy. I agree with that fact. But not that your happiness must come from Pete. But I want to be with Pete. <laughs> Nico, what about his wife? His wife is his business, and really, if he doesn't mind, then I don't. Very convenient. But that doesn't read you of responsibility. I'm not one of your clients, so, Adi. You should be thankful for that little fact. But really, Nikki, I want you to be happy. But without all these complications. I know that. And I'm grateful for having a friend like you who's been with me through thick and thin. Hey, don't start with me. I'm serious, Ade. I mean, what would I have done without you? You would have survived, Nikki. You're a strong woman. I don't know. Something else happened this time? Yes. My husband. He's cheating. Why in the world do you think your husband is cheating? Think about it, Nicole. Why would he accuse me of cheating if he is not cheating? She never said he actually accused you of cheating. Yeah, but he implied it. I mean, he obviously didn't believe my explanations. But you were out late the other day. I had a flat tire. And for God's sake, Nicole, you were there when the mechanic put my tires. I was there, but your husband wasn't there. And all of a sudden, you're never in the house. That's because he was never at home. All of a sudden, you're meeting up with all of this new friends. I mean, come on. What new people? I've been with you most of the time. But he doesn't know that either. Hey, whose side are you on anyway? I am on your side. So stop acting like you are on his side. I know it seems like I'm on his side, but I'm just trying to protect you. Protect me? 
be? I know what it's like to be divorced and single, and I don't want that to happen to you. So please, try and patch things up with your husband. Alright? Try and work things out. Pleased to meet you, Barrister Rabo. And I'm pleased to meet you. I yes, how may I help you? I understand you're a very busy man, so I won't want to take much of your time. I appreciate that. See, my friend Nicole is bent on having a relationship with you, in spite of my objections. But please understand, my objections are not personal. Happen to know you're married. And I'm not going to disrespect you by asking the nature of that relationship. But I want us to clarify some things between us. Go ahead. You see, Nicole has had her fair share of heartache, more than her fair share. And I won't want you to cause her any more heartache. Listen, I don't intend to cause your friend any more heartache than she has already had, okay? Good. Then we understand each other. I hope I've not taken much of your time. I appreciate your concern for your friend. Thank you. Um, one more thing, sir. I make a terrible enemy. I can see you make a great friend too. I'd rather be your friend. Okay. And please understand, no offense was meant. None is taken. And this is between us. shouted at you the other day. I... I'm sorry too. I, um, I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. They were not 
justified. But baby, I, I just want you to know that I have never cheated on you. And I do not have any intentions whatsoever in doing that. I know that, Mia, and um, I'm truly sorry I implied otherwise. Pete. Pete, what's happening to us? What's happening to us? We used to be so fond of each other. We used to be so good together. We used to be so close. Honestly, I guess part of it is my fault. No. No. I do not want to assign blames on anyone. Rather, I, I want us to just put more energy and effort in working out our relationship again. Things are a lot more complicated than I can see now. What are you talking about? Well, I'll admit that I've been distracted for a while and I apologize it's affecting our relationship. No. No, Pete, like I said, I do not want to assign blames on anyone. I know, B, I know that. Um, listen. I'll try not to let this happen again. Okay. Thanks. Thanks too. Love you for now. Did you miss me much? <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. Maybe, maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> I found a new life in you. 